Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta talk about this one immediately, okay? So while the BBC Samurai situation was raging wildfires, while the Star Wars Outlaw situation was raging wildfires, and you're now you're probably getting the memo, right? You're probably getting the gist. So does that mean that there's something else, Gizel? And yep, there is something else, guys. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. And I wanna show you this one, man. This situation is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, bruh. Roll it. Damn. Oh man, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I gotta play you the actual clip and listen, I'm not laughing at her, I'm laughing at the entire thing that Ubisoft did. So she was able to watch the Assassin's Creed gameplay for the first time and this is a reaction she had. And I don't blame her, man! I don't blame her, they always do that crap, man! So, of course, the drama, and that's not the only thing though, there's something else that came out though! Oh, Yay! It's, it's only getting started. Now, what the suck is now? did is absolute ludicrous though so of course with assassin's creed japan game right assassin's creed shadows they turned assassin's creed into a new york city right we saw the gameplay uh they are are using black people as shields and my black kings are also waking up because they're now realizing why it gotta be us why you always make us gay right because these suckers always make black people gay. they always do that they always do that right where my black kings at though where my black homies at though yeah we need to squad the hell up right a lot of my black kings are now waking up so they're doing that of course spinning on rewriting uh the japanese people's history as well so they're going for two two for one right black people okay let's actually use them as shields and let's uh, dunk on them make them gay in the game and also uh dunk on the asian people as well because we don't like them that's what ubisoft did so two for one that's essentially what they're doing right diversity checks everywhere right uh, destroying people's culture we love that is what ubisoft said now we talked about it numerous times guys like listen yasuke was not gay he was a real life man he was not gay and if he was makes sense to make him gay in the game absolutely but he was not and ubisoft is like yeah he black so we gotta make him gay they did that right then what happened was that star wars outlaw situation right so people are like hey man i'm getting my ps3 uh, right now. i'm getting my ps3 i'm getting my xbox 360 out guys i got a video that i want to show you wait for it clench your butt cheeks get your racing gaming a seat belt all right something called seat belt you're gonna need it it's gonna come in handy get that so a lot of people were like okay let me get my ps3 out there son let me get my xbox 360 because this game looks uh, like that my ps3 will be able to play it right because yeah right now uh oh ubisoft also realized that people were unlocking or getting their ps3 ready to play this game and this is why ubisoft buttered up youtubers this is not the only thing though there's more guys but wait there's more ubisoft buttered up youtubers and influencers with trips to disneyland and boat tours to promote star wars outlaws <laughs> and, and this is a character design that was modeled after an actual actress that is uh, quite gorgeous in real life she's pretty in real life and of course they had to uglify her so there's that but minus all of this woke crap you're watching the gameplay this is a gameplay of it it looks so bad that apparently they also got Star Wars Theory. It's a YouTuber with a, uh, it's a YouTuber with three million subs. So big channel, big channel that posts uh, hundreds of millions uh, of views, right? Collectively, of course. Uh, and they Ubisoft reached out to him as well, and they wanted him to do our review. Now you're like, okay, so what's so wrong with asking an influencer or YouTuber for a review? Nothing wrong with that, but apparently Ubisoft was like. You need to say good things about this game. And he declined. He declined that offer, and now we're here. You wanna know what happened? Shout out to the homie Hypnotic, roll it. Star Wars Theory is out here just destroying people left and right, man. He's destroying Uranalyst. We talked about this in like multiple different videos. He's destroying the mainstream. And now we got another example of this, man. So we got an article here from That Park Place with a headline that reads, YouTuber Star Wars Theory reveals that he rejected Ubisoft's offer to promote Star Wars Outlaws. I ain't going to play nice. Now, I think that's pretty damn incredible that Ubisoft actually thought that they could reach out to Star Wars Theory and think they could get him to show for them, right? Like, cause that's a Shout out to this gentleman out here, man. And this man said that nah bruh i ain't gonna lie to my audience like that if the game sucks the game sucks simple as that okay yay yay i i i don't i i don't be needing that money right now for you okay that's what he said and th th yeah that's crazy right because 
knowing his channel size, I'm pretty sure the the, the numbers must have been over ten thousand dollars USD. That's paper man. That's Franklin Benjamin's man. That ain't no pesos. That ain't no rupees, man. I'm Pakistani, so we got rupees there, and uh, that ain't no rupees, okay? That ain't no pesos. That's the USD. That's uh, Franklin Benji's. Those are paper, okay? And I want to show you this video as, uh, as well in a second. Uh, it was actually hilariously sad, okay? essentially what it is we discussed the many different um you know situations where ubisoft was paying for good reviews essentially they were flying out influencers sending them to disneyland whining and dining them all to try to get those glowing reviews that they so desperately need because god knows the sentiment around the game is pretty damn terrible but star wars theory said i'm not doing that how yeah. embarrassing <laughs> how embarrassing now it's always sure was going to be a, be a channel that has over you know a few million subscribers stick to their guns and not show for what i'm sure was going to be a pretty big paycheck right yeah. because somebody at uh, star wars theory size it, it gotta be above ten thousand. it gotta be maybe even closer to 50k right yeah uh, when i said ten thousand, it, it, it's above that minimum ten thousand minimum right it gotta be above that let's be real probably i wouldn't be shocked if it's like 100k as well yeah i, I wouldn't be shocked i wouldn't be shocked they would pay him a lot of money to show for their game. There's no doubt about it, right? We're talking thousands of dollars. Very easily, they would Very have given easily, him. Yeah. And he chose to ignore that. He chose to basically throw it away and say, I'm not going to play nice because you're doing X, Y, Z to the game. So let's just, let's talk about it. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. So it says YouTuber well, uh, Star Wars like revealed that he rejected an offer from Ubisoft and its partners to promote the upcoming Star Wars Outlaws game from Massive Entertainment. In a recent video upload to his channel, Theory stated at the end of the day, yeah, they did reach out. We were potentially going to do something. <laughs> I gave them an exorbitant amount of money. I was like, well, you need to give me this. And look, there's going to be a ton of things in the contract that will not bind me to any sort of tailoring of what I need to or don't need to say about this game. He continued, if it's complete ass, I'm going to be totally candid about that. And so at the end of the day, nothing was signed. Nothing was done. And I'm happy about that because the game looks like absolute shit. It looks like garbage. <laughs> Again, this game has been getting roasted for weeks now. I mean, there's so many clips that are going around right now on Twitter that are mega viral showing a Shout out to Star Wars Theory, man. What a legend, man. What a legend. What a legend. He chose uh, his community over that. He chose uh, truth over that. And he's like, hey, I'm going to be... Uh uh, I'm gonna be honest about it, and, and you know what? Normally, I always say this, man. Don't don't take reviews as facts. And still, I'm gonna say this: don't don't ever take reviews as facts because you know, even if a YouTuber, uh, before I get into that point, I don't want to lose this point, right? You can trust this man's reviews. Is what I'm trying to say, okay? But the second thing that I was that I wanted to say was that never take reviews as gospel. Never take reviews as facts, right? Because they're not. Reviews are very subjective, okay? Because there is surely gonna be one thing that that YouTuber will like from it that you might not. And vice versa, there might be something that you might like about this game that the YouTuber, the reviewer, might not like it. So we all have different tastes and that, that that's perfectly okay. That is perfectly fine though. So you should never take reviews as gospel as facts. Now, and, and I'm talking this like, talking about the best case scenario, right? Even if a YouTuber, reviewer wanna be 100% genuine, 100% uh, honest with their audience, and 100% honest about their experience and review the game, even then, they might like something that you might not, and vice versa. Now, it's a completely different thing when, you know, you be have out there, when the, they send YouTubers and influencers to Disneyland and let them have boat tours because the game sucks so badly that, these youtubers must have been falling asleep while playing this game right so they're like okay we need them to fire don't mean let let these seconds go ahead and catch some air in disneyland okay let's uh hook them on uh, some sugar let let yeah let's let's actually you know ha let them have some steaks let them see some water because water water is kind of calming the ocean especially it is soothing it is calming you know it, it's part of nature and whenever humans sees nature they see calming soothing uh watery waves that goes like like that they're gonna ultimately feel good about their about their game Bruh. right they're gonna go feel good about themselves they're they, therefore they're gonna say positives things about this game but you see star wars theory was not having it folks wait for it and i gotta show you guys this as well okay roll it multitude of issues that the game has okay from a graphical standpoint from an animation standpoint from even a lip syncing standpoint it is fucking terrible it's not even just the wokeness that is really going to be destroying this game it's overall it's the fact everything. that it feels like a ps3 game in a ps5 era that's what it really yeah. feels like yeah, there yeah, are yeah. certain areas in star wars outlaws that does look nice right and i said this in my last video i saw i saw that some planets did actually look pretty nice but overall it looks fucking terrible the explosions look straight out of a ps2 game i shit you not i'm talking about 2d just straight flat explosions i don't even know how they 
this is even in the PS5 era looking like this. We saw this where she got uh, basically blown up by a grenade and her body disappeared into the explosion for a second or two and then magically reappeared. It is that glitchy. Overall, the game is pretty fucking terribly made, it seems like, and it's only going to get worse as people actually get their hands on the game and realize just how bad it gets. Uh, he later reiterated, yeah, we were in talks. They did reach out surprisingly. I was like, oh, okay. I spoke to my network and that he was the middleman and that was it. And I made him know for sure. I'm like, look, I'm not going to play nice, man. Like, if it's, you know, a certain way, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. They know how I am anyways. In the mm. end, I didn't sign anything. I didn't conform. I didn't anything. No matter what the compensations were, it's my way or it's not when it comes to my channel. I respect that. I respect that 100%, Best. man, because there's a lot of content creators that will bend their channel and bend the way they do videos simply to make a sponsor happy, even yeah. if they don't necessarily agree or believe in what the sponsor is saying or doing. I, I just, I, I respect that a lot. I'll never yeah, take same. a certain amount of money and then sign a contract which says, which says I can or can't say something. Like, screw that, dude. I don't need that. Later in the video, he reiterated again. We yeah, I I'm pretty sure his plate is full, and therefore he don't need that. Uh, I mean, uh, but, but the other side is also true, right? Like, it, it must have been, like, a lot of money. And everybody can do good with that extra money. And I'm sure if he could get the extra income, why not? And nothing wrong with that. But I, but he chose... But 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 see, the only problem with this one was that uh, they were offering a lot of money. But they were also like, hey, you need to shill for our game. You need to lie. And I respect a lot uh, that he was like, okay, well, yeah, I I'm ready to do our review. Pay me. But my rules, man. My channel, my rules. Biatch. Right, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna show up for that, right? And if if only Ubisoft wanted him to be honest, I, I'm sure he would have took them. He would have took the money, and, and that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that, like I said, right? But but they were telling him to do something that he was not okay with, and therefore he denied it. And uh, respect, man, respect. You don't find many uh, YouTubers like that and influencers like that. Yeah, so shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. I didn't sign anything because I want to be able to speak my mind fully. And you know, A, you're going to have to pay me X amount. And B, if it's something I really like, for example, the next Fallen Order game, I'll do it for free. But if yeah, it's something that I don't really care about already, I'll need a monetary compensation. And then the contract will be amended to essentially I say whatever I want, however I want, mm. which no one's going to. Exactly what I was saying. He was not opposed to the idea of not taking the money. Oh, absolutely. Everybody can do good with extra income and all that. And nothing wrong with, uh, with that. Nothing wrong with doing sponsors or asking for... Uh, asking for money to review a product. Oh, absolutely. But hey, it's uh, my channel, my rules kind of thing, right? Yeah, give me money. I'll do the review, but I'm going to be honest in that review, right? And uh, yeah, <laughs> if the game is good, like you said, he will do it for free. And absolutely, if honestly, though, like, guys, let's be real. We came from an era. Um, I'm assuming most of you guys are old, uh, old, old, uh, oldies, right? Nothing wrong with that. I'm also getting old, man. I'm push. I'm about to push 30, man. It's, it's getting bad. I'm also sure uh, some of you are young fellas, or a lot of you are young, young fellas as well. Uh, a lot of you are getting old. A lot of you are old, and a lot of you are probably young. I'm, I'm probably having like mixed audience here, and that's. That's honestly amazing, okay? Let me know how old are you if you want to in the comments. Let me know where you from, like city or country. Hey, everybody's welcome here, right? But but here's the thing though. Back in the days, because I come from an era where not, ne nothing like that actually existed, right? Uh, they would put out a trailer and if the game was good, suckers would play it and youtubers would be live streaming the games they would upload no commentary or commentary playthroughs videos which youtubers still do but you feel i'm saying nowadays it's more like hey i need to please that certain company so i get early copies i need to please that certain company because they paid me to review the game there is a whole lot of that now back in the days none of that was a thing right a good game was out you saw the trailer you saw gameplay game looked good you went for it you bought it nowadays they really need influencers and they need youtubers because the game sucks the game sucks man the game sucks and they need it more and they know it sucks because they're trying their extra hard they're trying their hardest to butter up youtubers right now because they know the game sucks i also am not opposed to the idea of uh paying youtubers uh for them to review a game unless you're not doing crap like that where of course in this case they got busted right their ass got exposed 
because they were trying to get Star Wars uh, Theory to lie and shell up for their game. And he was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. And he made a video on it. He uh, exposed all of them. And now we're finding out. And it's good that we're finding out because this is not exclusive to just Ubisoft. A lot of these companies do that. They rely heavy on YouTube videos and uh, reviews and uh, all that. Uh, and and uh, simply put, if the game sucks, they're going to try their hardest to get YouTubers and influencers on, bo uh, on board. And they might as well let them have those boat tours as well. No pun intended. But I want to show you guys this video as well. So uh, this chick, Japanese, uh, shout out to her. Uh, let me actually show you guys the channel. I, of course, do not speak Japanese, guys. So I don't know how to say her name. <laughs> but in this video, kind of hilarious, but... I understand. I un I totally understand, man. I totally understand. This I, I highlighted some some uh, points in the videos. Uh, I, I saw some moments, so I was like, I'm gonna show you guys and let's uh, let's react here. Let's see. Music coming in. Oh, damn! It's looking like New York City right now. Yeah, damn, homie. Oh man, I, I feel her though. I feel her, man. It's like she's seeing her own people just get destroyed. Damn, holy crap. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. Oh my god. I'm not sure if she's doing it purposely. But of course, make no mistake, e even if she's like acting here or not, what Ubisoft did is ridiculous, man. It is ridiculous. That's an appropriate reaction, even if she's faking it. I get it, though. I get it, though. Damn, bro. Look at that, bruh. Yeah, Yasuke is like, I'm a... Oh, best part coming in. He said, I was almost killed. No, Yasuke is killing people, isn't it? Question mark. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. I said kill him. Ooh. Oh my god. Damn. Ubisoft. You suckers. You suckers should be ashamed of yourselves, bro. Like, y'all suckers be doing this. And I have seen very few comments where people are like, it's just game, bruh, it's just game. I get that, guys, it's just game. But but you gotta understand that there are people out there that care for their culture. If you do not care for your culture, that's you, that's on you. Maybe you don't have a culture, that's why probably you don't care. Bruh. Simple as that. And I get that part. There's nothing wrong with if you don't have a culture or if you don't care for your culture, if you have one. But there are people out there that care for their culture okay that care for their culture and uh yeah ubisoft is literally spitting on their culture and destroying their culture so yeah they're gonna speak out they're gonna speak out so that's what's uh has been going on with assassin's creed and, and for the people i am just damn Oh no 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 not this part not this part not this part no Oh my god no Damn damn man Man why y'all so gonna be doing that man but shout out to her man uh, stay strong queen stay strong all right back to the regularly scheduled content boo boo really want that and he's right he's right a lot of these triple a studios are never going to allow you to do this right because they are only trying to be selective over who they give their game to they <laughs> want to maximize their opportunity for good press they essentially want to force the good press and they will try to you know swindle you or they'll try to make it something that is monetarily appealing in the <laughs> hopes that you'll be willing to give up your morals in order to uh, get their money but for somebody like star wars theory who's essentially a millionaire at this point anyway yeah. it doesn't matter right none of that shit matters he doesn't need the fucking money from ubisoft yeah if he's a millionaire you better give him 10 million for him to uh actually think about this in any way shape or form right or at least a million dollars which they're probably not gonna give let's be real so so obviously it would be nice don't get me wrong because it's probably in the tens of thousands of dollars just for one particular review but ultimately he doesn't need it right he knows yeah. that and, and i'm glad that he knows that so it's good it's good to see him stay uh fairly humble and at the same time understand that this is his channel it's yeah. what he should want to say and not what he's forced to say 
Facts. Uh, theories revelation facts, that facts, Ubisoft facts, and his partners contacted him to promote Star Wars Outlaws comes in the wake of a report from German YouTuber Cyberpunk 20XX, who discovered multiple YouTubers and influencers who were influenced by Ubisoft as part of the company's largest marketing campaign in its history. Now, again, we spoke about this. This is what I was referencing when I was talking about the Disney World trips and whatnot. They are essentially trying to buy good reviews, and this is not shocking considering that uh, basically every fucking AAA developer does this at some yeah. point, right? Now, not, yeah, not, yeah. not necessarily Disneyland, but still, <laughs> they go hard in, in whining yeah. and dining people, right? We saw Wings of, uh, Rings of Power. We're going to see with more stuff. We'll just wait till Rings of Power Season 2. I hope they bring back the super fans. I'm just going to put it just like that, but still. They do this all the time. This is not very shocking, right? This is essentially good business where they're trying to uh, uh, not buy the review straight up. Obviously, they can't do that, but they're... Y yeah, and, and you know, this is why I said, like, there's nothing wrong with the flying out YouTubers, uh, letting them play early and review the game because that's the new age promotion, right? Because here's the thing, though. It's far more expensive to those of you that might uh, be like, uh, okay, so they must spend, like, a lot of money. They should just advertise it and not spend that money on YouTubers. Uh, uh, because some people might think that spending that money on YouTubers is uh, like a lot more expensive than just uh, promoting it uh, on like for example Google Ads on YouTube or Facebook ads right that stuff is more expensive uh, and it doesn't convert better what converts better is flying out YouTubers and letting them play the game early and put it on their channels right because you don't of course you have to spend and these companies spend buttloads of buttloads of money okay they do but the conversion at the end of the day is a lot more higher because here's the thing you, you're probably subbed to hundreds of channels right you watch a lot of gaming channels uh, and uh, you more often than not you also want new games and you see new game reviews go up on their channel and you want to know what your the, the person you're sub to is thinking about it as well and it's also confirmation bias there might be a game that you like and you're like okay i love this game and i want to know what my favorite youtuber or this youtuber that i am subscribed to this bozo that i'm subscribed to i want to know what he thinks as well and it's like uh, uh and you want to see the discussion and you want to just uh, get the confirmation bias perhaps like a different perspective and all that that stuff is far more lucrative to these companies and these companies rely on that why use google ads and spend millions of dollars on the ads when you can spend the same amount of money but have a higher conversion because see how many times you see an ad and you skip how many times you see an ad and you hate it how many times you see an ad and you're like nah bro like i don't care about it i've seen that a million times i always skipped on it so therefore i'm gonna skip it again how many times that happens but if it's a video from a youtuber that you're sub to or on the topic that you're interested or on a game that you're interested for you're probably gonna see it and it's like very it, it just converts better man it just converts better and these companies know that so they rather spend m money flying out these youtubers and call of duty do that all the time they back in the days that i guess they would pay people white boy 7th street those of you that are familiar with that story back in the days he exposed the fact that some of the youtubers like ali a t martin and the bigger names they were getting tens of thousands of dollars to review but nowadays i don't think and i have have not heard from any of the the youtuber friends that i made over the years uh they never said any of that that they were paid maybe they were paid i mean listen if somebody's paid they're probably not gonna say they got paid right that's also true but from what i'm hearing nowadays they don't necessarily pay youtubers but they invite them out and they take care of them they put them in nice hotel they pay for their flights they pay for the they pay for the food and ultimately they let uh, youtubers play the game early and they let them record early put it on their channel and in a way they get a nice trip they get to collab and they also get to upload gameplays early and in return they will get the youtube ad money from it so in a way they're making money and it's an opportunity too so youtubers would take and nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that but here's the thing though now that you're getting disneyland boat tours involved and uh, you're like hey you need to be positive about positive about our product our game then we're in the territory of hey you're outright buying out our review or a buy, a buying out the review for it and these companies also don't like to for youtubers to add paid reviewed on their videos right because that do, that don't look good on them this is where we at fellas check out this video on the screen because we got massive drama going on in the gaming community check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left because we got some good news about gta 6 and i'll see you right there boys